So we have conducted many tests um, uh, beforehand. Nicht? So the uh, uh, entire um, commissioning of the machine took over one year. That was a long and tedious process. Uh, one of our experimental directors, Thomas and Pedersen. Thank you. Yes, so we do want to find out if we've made a plasma and if it has reached um, a million degrees or something like that. And this is a challenge, of course, something that hot and also very thin. And uh, this is Rudolf Brakel. So I'm kind of the conductor of the scientific instruments which have to be played during the experiment. So today this will basically be the heating systems, the gas injection systems, and some key diagnostics, which tell us then if we have success to uh, perform with the first plasma. And we have here one of our engineers, Herr Volske. Um, we have on the W7X um, 65 vacuum pumps for the base pressure um, in the both uh, vessels. The pressure here is uh, 10 minus 7 millibars. And the second uh, system is a um, system for the plasma vessel. Um, here is the base pressure, 10 minus 8 millibars. So after having the vacuum, the nothing, nicht? so we, are, uh, we can start with cooling down our magnets, our 70 superconducting magnets. And uh, this requires a cooling plant to cool down these magnets. And um, so we reach temperatures of minus 270 degrees centigrade in Kelvin scale, this is 3.85 Kelvin, that is shown there on the display. And I'm going to ask the engineer in charge for the cryo systems, Herr Nagel. Uh, we of the cryogenic group have a very, very big fridge that is used to cool down the heavy steel structures inside the cryostat down to a temperature of 296 degrees minus 296 degrees Celsius. At that temperature level, we push liquid helium through the magnets to ensure that the magnets have a temperature which, which um, is able um, for superconducting um, current conduction. So we have here the leading engineer for the magnets who is putting the 12,000 ampere into the magnet system. Thomas. Yes, uh, we have uh, 70 superconducting magnets and these 70 magnets are organized in seven electrical circuits with 10 coils each, and the power supplies are able to deliver 20,000 amps through the coils, but today we are a little bit more relaxed and we go only with 12,300 amps. We are pretty relaxed with these low currents of only 12,000 amps. So everything is cool, everything is evacuated, we have a magnetic field. We have uh, now six gyrotrons operating with a total power of uh, five megawatts, and we are quite sure that we will ignite and heat the plasma very successfully. So Andreas Werner, he is the head of our IT group, our CODA group. Okay, so we have the group of, uh, that is in charge for the control and uh, data acquisition system as well as for the IT. Here we have the central control systems uh, that uh, keep track of all other components that they are well synchronized. So we are approaching the critical point. Okay, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, there was a plasma. This was an interesting day. Everything works as it is supposed to work. Everything worked together. So the machine is able to create a plasma. All components have uh, functioned as expected and the research program can start.